So today I'm talking about a Toyota with the P2400 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Toyota P2400 code? Well, it's an EVAP system leak detection pump control circuit open. And what does this mean? Well, vehicles have what's called an EVAP system, which takes gas vapors from the gas tank and feeds them back into the engine to get burnt off so they don't escape into the atmosphere. And the onboard computer seeing a problem with this, so it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And some possible causes of a Toyota P2400 code. Well, it could be a bad leak detection pump, could be an EVAP leak, could be in the wiring and could be a blown fuse. And so the leak detection pump is going to be located on the vapor charcoal canister, which is going to be located up and underneath the vehicle by the gas tank somewhere. It could vary a little bit on its exact location, but it'll be up and underneath there. Sometimes it's up and underneath a metal guard or something like that. But the first thing to do is go locate your vapor charcoal canister. And then once you locate it, check out the wiring real good. Be sure everything looks like it's connected. There's nothing damaged. You can also check for any blown fuses or anything like that. And basically just keep in mind, anything wrong with the wiring is gonna cause the same symptoms as a bad leak detection pump. So you wanna check that out real good. If the wiring all looks good and there's no blown fuses or anything, then you can't test that leak detection pump if you want to. Too. There's some good YouTube videos on how you go about testing it to see if it's failed. If it does test bad, then you can't buy it separately from the charcoal canister, or you could buy the whole charcoal canister all together. Buying the whole charcoal canister usually costs more, but it can be better in some situations, especially if the charcoal canister is really old. But the next thing to do would be to test that leak detection pump and replace it if it's bad. And so if that all checks out good, there's nothing wrong with the wiring, there's no blowing fuses, the leak detection pump tests good, then the next thing to do would be to check for an EVAP leak. Since any hose that's leaking or anything like this is going to throw that leak detection pump off so it can't work properly. So there might be a leak inside of the system. And if you took it to a mechanic, what they would do is they'd take a smoke machine and they'd feed smoke into the EVAP system. And wherever the smoke come out, they'd know where the leak's at. There's some low-cost smoke machines on Amazon or eBay. I'll put a link down below if you need one. You can also make one up for like five, ten dollars There's some good DIY YouTube videos on how you can make them up if you want to do that. But if that pump tests good and the wiring all looks good and there's no issues there, then very likely you do have a leak somewhere inside of the system. And so you'll need to find out where that leak's at and fix that. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to make a quick video on how you go about fixing a Toyota with the P2400 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.